What's up, people? Man, this is the first week the entire summer. I'm talking like June, July, August, September. It is now October 12th. This is the first time all summer long that we're going to have a week with no rain. The first time. So this property out here that we do, one of our properties, our Monday property out here, is all clay and it's elevated. <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's not elevated high enough and it's been a developer problem, blah, 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 blah. The community is like 15 years old, nothing they can do about it. But it sits lower than it should sit, it holds water, they've installed drainage, all this and that. It gets so bad. Torpedo grass takes over everything. The chemical companies have a hard time keeping that under control. The stuff gets so bad it creeps into the beds, it creeps into everything. We spray it, we do what we gotta do. It's a madhouse, it's crazy! Today, we're just gonna be hand pulling stuff, detailing bed to bed to bed to bed. I'm going to take the Gravely Pro Stance with the open chute on it and try to work on cutting some of this stuff down. We brought the 30 inch, um, the 30 inch uh, X mark out here last week and it was so wet that the 30 inch X mark was leaving ruts. Standing in it was leaving ruts with your feet. It was so bad. That's how bad this place is. You can't even walk through it or you leave ruts with your boots and shoes. So we are going to hopefully see if I can at least get some of this place mowed. We've mowed some spots here and there, but there are places between the buildings that, that are just very thick, very tall, we can't get to, and we can't walk through it and weed eat it. It'll look like a whole bunch of deer or freaking boar just ran through the entire property, so we can't do that either. It's been a thing to where the board and the people understand, but they're pissed and they want things done and they want it handled. We are the professionals, we're the landscapers, we're trying to figure it out. So, today, we have a plan to just um, go building to building to building, hand detailing everything, um, and doing what we can do, and then spraying, finally, spraying since it is going to be, um, since it's not going to be raining. So actually, I see the guys out here right now. Let's see. Whoa, it's so bright. The guys, hold on a second. Hold on. So yeah, we just, uh, they just went through those beds right there, pulling all that stuff. You can see how thick everything is, man. See how thick it is? Look how thick this is. Yeah, what's happening, sweet thing? Whoop, whoop. Yeah, just going through and detailing crap everywhere. It's just so thick. It's nuts. There's the brand new Husqvarna hedge trimmers that are telescoping. They are amazing. Look at those suckers, y'all. Hold on, see if I can zoom in some. I don't have the big zoom, the big zoom lens, but those things are just so sick right there, man. Richard's on them. I'm gonna park right here. I'm gonna get out and start grabbing the mower and see what I can do. But look how thick all this grass is. This is just super thick, man, super thick. And it's super, super thick in between some of these um, spots. It's not too bad in there. We've been able to get in there, but it's just so soft. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. So we need to trim some hedges up and just uh, work on this for now. So we're going to get this pro stance off of here. Logo's looking really good. Yeah, the whole truck setup's looking really good. So we're gonna take this pro stance off of here. Uh, we've got the three mowers on here. Everything fits on here really good. Nothing slides around, which is great. Uh, but I'm gonna pull that off of here and uh, just see if we can get done. But yeah, we got weeds in the beds because we've been spraying. It doesn't do any good. So we're just hand pulling stuff, going building to building, man. Like I said, you see the guys over there, they're just bent over. And that's just what we got to do. Building to building, y'all.
So yeah, that was pretty thick. Some of that was thick. We haven't been able to cut that in about three weeks. There's some spots that are about two and a half feet tall. They get a little bigger, like across the street. You can't see it there. Um, this place, you can see, had some drainage put in it um, not too long ago. So that's why this is a little bit more dried out. Um, camera just doesn't do it justice how just dense and thick all of this is. So we're going to, you know, some spots over there, you know, it's about a foot tall. Um, you know, it just, it's just thick. Trust me on this. So over there, it's super thick. That whole thing sits in water um, over there. Sorry, you can't even see my hand when I'm, I don't put it in front of the camera. Anyway, that stuff's like about a foot over there. And this stuff is over a foot over there. So we're about to go through that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this bank done and keep doing the outside. Um, but yeah, you get the idea, man. This place just, we just haven't been, we've been spraying. So they don't want us to edge this. They want the grass to grow up to it. Um, but um, we've been spraying all the weeds. I'll show you up here. The weeds have been growing like crazy. And, you know, back here, some of it's dying. You know, like some of it's all dying back here where we've been spraying. Um, and then it's so wet that some of it just does not. You know, some of it doesn't die and some of it does. So, you know. Today we're going to be hand pulling anything big and spraying everything. So here's where all the torpedo grass will just pop up randomly through stuff. It'll just come through the grass and just pop up and get in the hedges. See this stuff, man? It's like, it's just crazy. It's ridiculous. So we're going to hand pull the big stuff today. Um, we've just been getting rained out here the last summer. It's just been crazy. So yeah, we've just been getting rained out in this place nonstop, man, nonstop. This is the, this will be the first complete dry day since june that we will have been out here and i mean the place could look worse for sure but it's the torpedo grass is a, is a nightmare out here it's just it's coming through because there's so much rain it grows up through the grass goes into the beds and it's just it's a nightmare but that's what they pay us for to figure it out but we're limited sometimes you just get limited man and there's only so much that we can do and i'm not one to make excuses i'm one to just tell you there's nothing we can do about this until the rain stops and it's been the worst rain I've seen in 13 years out here working. So I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna keep mowing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep mowing and I'll, I'll be back on here a little bit on the drive home. Just wanna show you guys what we're dealing with today. It sucks, all right. Hey, what's up guys? I am finished out there, so much crap to do. I left the guys have to go do some bidding on some sod and some other stuff I gotta look at. But man, that place, dude, I'm just sitting there mowing. I got probably 70% of the place mode, probably 30, little over 30% of the place. I couldn't just, I just couldn't mow. It's just too wet. So thankfully it's supposed to be another, it's supposed to be 10 days without rain here. And that, like I said earlier, that's just the first time since June that it's, it's supposed to be like that. And I hope to God that it is. It was already sprinkling earlier, but as long as it's not rain. So I went around and I talked to the board because so, you know, mostly, you know, when you're in situations like this, communities like this, and you're on a particular property that is very difficult to do, you guys understand, it's easy to look on the outside in and go, oh, I would do this, I would do that, I would do that, blah, 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 run your mouth. Um, and just about something that you can't possibly fathom unless you're on that particular property. I've literally, done that before to where I'm like oh I would do this on this property got the property and I'm like dang so I've done that and so one of the uh, one of the you know residents or, or, or somebody out there and you know I had another landscaper come in and said oh you know I would do this I would do this they could be doing this and that and you know my attitude was unless you know said landscapers out here working on the property you kind of don't have an opinion you know it's been it's been raining so much with that we have literally literally sat in the truck for over an hour clocked over an hour sitting in the truck when it's a monsoon just pouring out there all summer long man there's not been a day that we have been there for eight hours since we have since we've been on this pro since june we've not been on that property for eight hours it's been impossible it's been too much rain and then when it does finally quit raining it's just there's water streaming down the freaking you know curbs the road it's just so much water so you know it's it's kind of stressful in these situations where i want a property to look a certain way and they usually do and this property usually looks gorgeous man i post pictures of this property it usually looks amazing you guys have seen vlogs on this property it looks great and in my opinion it looks rough right now level the scale of one to ten ten being amazing and one being like you don't you don't even 
know how to mow a lawn, I mean, it's probably sitting at a, it's probably sitting at a six and I'm being, you know, I probably a six. Some parts look really good and just some parts look bad. And the parts that look bad is because we're trying to do full maintenance to cover the entire property. It's 30 acres in such a limited amount of time because of the rain coming in that we're not able to just comb that property with detail. So, you know, and yeah, companies like Brightview and massive huge companies, they, you know, they have so many resources. They can literally just come in, send guys on separate days and do all this other stuff. We just can't do that kind of stuff, you know? And not to mention, I have seen those companies not do things like that, you know, when they say that they would, but we can't. We, we, I can send guys out here and there, but I can't send a full crew out there just a second day a week. I can't do that. Um, so the thing is, they understand that too and i'm like we can send guys out here other days but you know you have to pay for it they get it and they, they're being understanding you know but you always get a couple of people like i want somebody else out here and then you have the people that are realistic and go well that's not going to do any good we've had this problem every year for 10 years every time it rains no matter who the landscaper is so but we're doing our best to stay on top of it the guys are killing it today um 35 bags 55 gallon bags of just crap they're pulling out of every hedge every you know like just just cleaning stuff out other people's landscape that's there which they're not supposed to have there um so i'm gonna be i'm pretty happy with it um as i was leaving everything was looking really good getting all the hedges caught up we're gonna get that place tight man two or three weeks that place is gonna be is it's gonna be beautiful okay um so anyways i'll uh i'm gonna jump off and um go look at this property see how much sod they need and put a bid together but you know guys it's just sometimes we have stressful stressful summers and you just got to keep your wits about you 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 don't need to lose your temper when somebody's emailing you a concern you don't need to snap at people when they're talking to you about a concern when you're just like oh my god i understand that but i can't do this and that you don't need to get like that what i do is i just go you're right you're 100 percent right you're absolutely right and i wish that i could appease everybody that's there on that 30 acres i wish i could i wish that i could bring 20 guys out there every single time i'm there but unfortunately the budget does not pay for that and we're just doing what we can and hopefully you just understand and that goes a long way and that works you know um just don't lose your cool man and sometimes we want to yeah just don't lose your cool guys hope the focusing is better um i got a new update the gh5 this camera's the bomb and uh, I, I don't even know if it's in focus right now. I just hope it is. Anyways, guys, peace out.